Get up, fools. Mr. T here, and I'm back again with another video. And in this video, Mr. T is gonna explain to gamers how stocks work. Now at times, stocks can be kind of confusing. With gamers growing older now, I guess they're starting to pay attention to these things that they probably didn't care about when they were much younger. So let's talk about boring adult stuff when it comes to video games. Stocks. Okay, so there's been a lot of hoopla about Nintendo stocks dropping and the, you know the it's over oh my god uh, everybody's on fire Nintendo fans are on fire uh, haters are on fire about how Nintendo is doomed and how it's you know been doomed since 1889 <laughs> well anyway I'm gonna try to explain this to you and I'm gonna use the trading places method now there was a very popular movie uh, when I was growing up as a kid that I used to watch with Eddie Murphy uh, called Trading Places. It was Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. It was about them switching places and showing that a poor guy uh, in a better situation could be a better person. And uh, it was a really funny movie. I think it holds true today. I think it still stands the test of time. You fools should definitely check it out if you're fans of comedy. So check that movie out, Trading Places. But anyway, I'm going to use that <laughs> to explain how stocks work. Now, from my knowledge of that film, and, uh, you know, I'm obviously being a little facetious here, I know something about stocks. But, basically, as a stockholder, you're either an investor-type stockholder, which means you're in it for the long haul, or you're just a quick grab, quick money grab type of stockholder, which means you're just trying to make a quick buck on the stock market. So, if you're an investor-type, you're in it for the long haul. You're going to buy your stocks, you're going to invest in a company, and you're just going to keep your stocks there and make your money. Uh, well, as long as you believe that the company will continue to make money. And if you're a quick money type of, let's make a quick, you know, million dollars here type of stockholder, you're going to look around for deals on things that you think are going to blow up out of nowhere and then sell it while your stock is high and get out of there. So that's basically what's happening with Nintendo. You have uh, a bunch of people who jumped in, uh, yes, during when the Switch started to really take off, but also during the time when uh, Pokemon Go was a big ph uh, ph uh, phenomenon, a big fad. And so a lot of people started to invest in Nintendo stock. So if you look at the timetable, uh, b basically last summer with the Pokemon uh, Go app, you know, really blowing up, people started to invest in Nintendo uh, big time. Even though Pokemon Go isn't, isn't wholly a Nintendo game, obviously, it has a Pokemon license, but it's made by a different company. And I think Nintendo was trying to explain that at the time uh, when the stocks was going crazy. But anyway, the stocks shot up. And so you had a bunch of people buy in while the stocks were... Uh, oh, excuse me. Let me say that again. Uh, so you had, you know, Nintendo stocks relatively at a decent level. And so people started the craze that was going to happen. So they bought in a lot of stocks. And then the stocks obviously shot up because a lot of people were buying in. So the stock prices shot up. So basically, uh, the stock... Uh, held pretty much there and it started to drop as the, the fed and the craze of uh, Pokemon Go kind of not didn't go away but it just definitely subsided a bit it wasn't as crazy so people started to sell off their stocks mainly the people who wanted to make a quick buck so a lot of those people started selling their stocks and, and so the stock prices started to drop and uh, that's where we are <laughs> it really isn't that deep and if you look at it before the stocks went crazy uh, last summer uh, right now, they're sitting, they're still higher than what they were uh, last summer before the craze. Now, if the stocks suddenly take a huge crazy dip to where they're under what was going on last year, then you can be like worried, a little bit worried. But even at that point, it doesn't really mean a whole lot it's for the long game. So I hope that clears up some things for you fools. Uh, Nintendo's not going anywhere. They're selling Switches pretty well. And uh, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> this type of stuff has to be mentioned. But, you know, in the world of sensational, sensationalized news and things like that, these are types of things that tend to happen. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, fools, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I hope you learned a few things here <laughs> from my stock lesson for gamers. And uh, that'll be it for this episode. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.